Yo, what's up everybody? How is it going? Today we're playing Dota 2, but Superman and free eggs, I guess. We might have to come up with a better title for that. But anyway, everybody got Stormhammer and the free Argonauts. <laughs> and then Stormhammer talents as well. Also, it seems from what I can tell that the Stormhammer um, projectile is quite slow and looks a little funny as a result. Anyway, um, we're kind of getting annihilated by the gyrocopter agonims right away. But, oh god. At least he's not shooting while he's flying at me. I mean, that's the good news, right? Anyway, we'll see how this goes. This also has a reduced... Ow. This also has a reduced mana cost. Walrus Kick is nasty. Because Walrus Kick does 350 damage at level 1. So we've got Phantom Assassin. My thinking with Phantom Assassin is she kind of like, really, like, this is just a really good dagger, right? <laughs> and, um, and also, uh, we just kind of get to go a little bit crazy with uh, stuff like inbuilt blur, um, Aghanim's effect, you know, where every time we get a crit, we can refresh the storm hammer. And not every time we get a crit, every time we get a kill. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. She just seemed like somebody that could handle the game. I'm not sure if that's accurate. Because I have to admit, I did not really consider Gyrocopter, and this is brutal. Oh my god. Have some mercy on me. But yeah, we'll see. It won't refresh Stormhammer? Oh, you're right. It probably doesn't refresh Stormhammer. Because this actually only refreshes Phantom Assassin abilities. abilities. Like, it doesn't refresh non-Phantom Assassin abilities. Even if you are a Phantom Assassin. So that's kind of a shame. So it probably won't work. But that's okay. I think just Phantom Assassin in general should be alright. So yeah. Also with the really slow Stormhammer. As we can see. BKB is going to be a very viable option. And well. Guess who's a good BKB carrier. Yeah. Anyway. I watched a TV show called Love, Death and Robots recently. I don't know if you guys know that show. Um, but it's basically like this collection of short stories, right? Like it's, it's, it's mostly animated. Like it's not even enti entirely animated and the animation style switches heavily from episode to episode. Just watched them on Netflix. But it's basically these like short stories. So like every episode is like somewhere between four and 12 minutes long. So they're actually really, really short. And, um, they each tell... Like a Finnish story, like a, a complete story within their runtime. And that's it. Like afterwards, there's no expectation of this same storyline being picked up again or anything like that. That's That storyline is just done now. And that is really, really interesting. I gotta kind of blur away for a second here. It is really interesting. Because like the basic... Like, so... To, like, most of the stories tend to be, like, one of a few things, I would say. Right. By the way, can I block this? Yes. No. You lied. <laughs> you can say yes, but really no. <laughs> okay. Let me go... Let me go hide here and then go back. It's actually kind of... Gives us a little bit of time for me to talk about the TV show I want to tell you about. Um, get some TPs. Thank you very much. And back into the lane we go, I guess. So what was I saying? What was I saying? It's basically this collection of short stories. And the short stories tend to be pretty dark. Like, it's very much like, in a, like for adults, right? Like... It's got some very dark, heavy themes. Um, at times, very, very violent in uh, quite a few different ways. But what's really cool about it is because there's no expectation of there being a next episode with the same characters. There's actually never... An, like, I couldn't tell at all how each episode was going to end. And that's something that I, I don't really... like. That kind of like bothers me a lot about quite... A decent amount of media 
but I just feel like it's really obvious what's gonna happen. And sometimes that's fine. You know, like when I watch the Dragon Prince, I don't really expect the Dragon Prince to die in the first episode, right? <laughs> like, like even if the first episode were to like, like be like, haha, is this character going to die? You know, like I don't know. I always think that's kind of silly when like. You know, like a movie or a TV show or something. It's like in the first scene with your main character. It's like, is the main character going to die? And I'm like, no. No, it's, the main character is not going to die right now. We know this. Everybody knows that. <laughs> like, you don't need to pretend that the main character might die right now. That's not going to happen, right? This is where I feel like having lower stakes is going to be more interesting. But, nonetheless, nonetheless, in this particular show... Because every time the story start, like every time uh, an episode starts, it's an entirely new story with entirely new characters. And you don't know if the main character is gonna die, right? Like this is, I guess you could consider this a spoiler, but like not really, right? But like just to kind of say, but there are literal episodes in there, right? Yes. Which is, will characters die? And then it ends. And that's it. That's the whole story, right? It's like, there was an event that was life-threatening. And then it killed the people that were in this life-threatening event. And that's it. <laughs> and it's like, okay. I mean, I guess that could happen. Yeah, I mean, like... And while that may not necessarily sound super appealing, it really just kind of makes it so that the stakes... Oh, God. Ugh. Right? It makes it so that the, the stakes are real. Ah, oh, damn it. Like, you never know how something is going to turn out. And you never know what is going to happen to each character. And if they tell you this character might die here, the character might actually die there. And that's just what might happen. They might just die, and that's it. And that's pretty damn cool, honestly. Right? And I'm not saying here that I hate the typical hero story where, you know, like, you know, talking about the Dragon Prince again, which is a show I recommend it. Right? But, like, in the Dragon Prince, again, the Dragon Prince, whoever that may be, is probably not gonna die. Right? Or if they die, you know? Like, I'm reading a manga right now. I'm reading S Siren. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. It's not, not really a very big, popular one, right? Um... But I, I actually quite like it. I find it really interesting. Like, it's actually got some nice twists on, on what's going on in there. Um, oh, shit. I'm not going in on that. But there was just a moment where the main character was like, Oh, no. Am I going to die? And I'm like, No, you're not going to die. Because we're only in chapter 60. And this thing has 140 chapters. <laughs> Like, you're not gonna die right now. I know that. You know that. We don't really need to pretend otherwise. Oh, I am not in great shape. Help. But that is not true for this. And that's cool. Right? I'm not saying every show should do that. I think if every show did that, then it wouldn't be cool anymore. But precisely because not every show does that, it is cool. And so I really enjoyed it. And also, just to kind of like talk a little bit about the actual like short stories in it. The actual short stories in it are fantastic. Like a lot of them are really, really, really interesting and really unique in, in kind of the storytelling and what's happening and all of that stuff. So, quite enjoyed it. There's one, one story. There's one story in it. Um... I don't remember what it's titled exactly. I think it's titled When the Yogurt Took Over. And it's about yogurt becoming sentient, taking over the planet, and then leaving the planet in spaceships. And then humanity doesn't know what to do anymore because they've relied on the sentient yogurt to guide them for so long that now they are lost. And that's it. That's where it ends. And it's just so wacky and like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So, when I say the stories are wacky, I do mean it. They are quite wacky. <laughs> 
And to be honest, I this may like this may sound like I'm using the this, the yo uh, when yogurt took over as like a example of a bad story. I thought the yogurt story was a very very interesting story. They told it in a very neat, interesting way, and I really enjoyed it. I'm not joking right now. The the, the story about how the yogurt took over humanity was actually pretty fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. <clears throat> I I think I made a mistake picking Phantom Radiant Assassin. I kind of thought I would be able to farm a little better, but to be honest, it's not even the storm hammer that's the problem. It's like all of the Aghanim's effects. You know, everybody has a free Aghanim's, and that's just kind of like wrecking me right now. Okay, we got a kill there. Wait, I do think it just refreshed my Stormhammer. Oh, I think it did. Did it not? Huh. Alright, Pupil's... Pupil's um, gift is actually pretty good here. I like having a little bit more... more stats. Yeah, I did refresh the Stormhammer. That's good, man. Okay. That makes me a little bit more excited. So, uh, in case you didn't catch what it was called, it's Love, Death, and Robots is what it's called. Really, 100% want to recommend. Do not let your children watch this. This is not a children's TV show. <laughs> Do not watch this with children in the room. Just, this is not, not the Dragon Prince where really it's for everybody and it's just nice and cute. This is nothing like that. This is brutal and violent at times, including sexual violence, so please be quite aware of that. Okay. Ugh, that hurts. <clears throat> ah, goddamn. The new king is just, it's just a bit much to handle. But does it have Scottish accents? It does not have beautiful Scottish accents. <clears throat> that occasionally laps into not sounding Scottish at all. Alright. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> give me that kill! No, no, no! You gotta give me the kills! Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. That is the dream moment right there, if you ask me. Okay, we need more of those. What just happened? I got a kill with Stormhammer and then was able to chain that into a lot more kills with Stormhammer. Oh. We need more of that, dude. <clears throat> Shit show wouldn't watch. Because it's not the Dragon Prince, exactly. I'm sorry, Shu. Did I recommend you the Dragon Prince and then you watch the Dragon Prince and now I've ruined all other shows for you? Oh my god, just die! Oh. Alright. So we need a little bit more here. We'll equip that over this ring. Because it's actually just better than the ring. So, yeah. Uh, so I'm getting Battle Fury mostly as a way to have mana. And also just a way to farm. We need to have very, very fast farming speed in a game like this. Like we're going to probably go Battle Fury straight into BKB. That's the kind of game this is. I don't really want Iron Talon, to be honest. <clears throat> you cannot recommend me a sh uh, show on Avatar. I want to expect people not to love it. I'm not saying that you can't love it. I love it. I think it's great. And it is that good, isn't it? 
right? Like when I said, oh, this is on the level of Avatar, I know a lot of you were like, yeah, 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 Bobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but it is. <laughs> All right, take Iron Town instead of Quelling Blade. Uh, nope, need the Iron, uh, need the Quelling Blade for the Battle Fury, guys. Come on, guys, you know that. All right, so next up, we'll get ourselves our BKB. Well, it's the Avatar Rider, and it clearly has a lot of Avatar influence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, something that I find very funny about the Dragon Prince, by the way, is that the Dragon All Prince is very clearly. Since six years ago. Hey, Cypher. So here are my five euros and five euros more for good measure. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, wait. What was I saying? Oh, what what, what I wanted to say. Um, to me, something I find very very funny about the Dragon Prince is that. It's just very clearly, in, like I would guess, I, I I I would I would take the bet that it's inspired by a D and D campaign, because so much in it reminds me so much of playing D and D. <laughs> oh man. I don't think Satsa noticed me. I'm not really gonna go mess with that, so... Yeah. Oh, go, 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 go. Don't wanna fight that. Alright, we're gonna stay hidden. No! Ah! I need BKB, man. Uh, I need to stop fighting until we get the BKB. Nice. Oh, I love it. I love it. The Aghanims. Straight Aghanims. Beautiful. Get him. But it's just... It, like... Okay. Right? Like, this is mild spoilers for... Very mild spoilers for the Dragon Prince, right? But the, the main party in the Dragon Prince... They're just, they're just a D&D group, right? They are a druid and a sorcerer, right? And and a rogue. That's what they are. They're like, they couldn't be any closer to the thing without actually being the thing. <laughs> like, it's just... <laughs> that's what's going on there. All right, I think this is probably better than the dragon scale. Because we really need HP. I don't know. I've just been... What I've been doing recently is I've just been, like, kind of trying to consume more media. This may sound like I'm being very pretentious about just saying I want to watch TV. Um, but I do view it like that, where I'm, like, deliberately saying I want to consume more media in as many ways as I can. Because I think there's just so much content out there that's already been produced that I can learn from, right? So I've just been just like on my second screen and just like I used to basically have house on all the time, you know, <laughs> just just watch house. <laughs> um, and like the good wife on repeat, right? Just kind of like looping between the two. And as much as they are fantastic, I think it's time for something a little bit new once in a while, right? So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. And that's where all of this is coming from. <clears throat> How can one learn to play D&D if he is solo? Um, you can't. Sorry, D&D is by, like, default a cooperative thing. Uh, you need other people. You can't play it on your own. You can find people online. I think there's websites like Roll20 where you can uh, find other people to play with and all of that. I think there's even like professional D&D like uh, game masters and such. But <clears throat> So, we got BKB. Uh, I think next up I'm actually not sure what next up. Quickening. Ooh, 
Ooh, that's probably that's probably not bad to have, is it? Yes. I kind of want to just get Lincolns. It is not done yet. Like honestly, I know this sounds kind of shitty, but the best way to start a D&D group is to find a D&D group that already exists. Right? And and play with them. But I mean, if you want to just kind of, like, get some friends and get started. But it's by default a social thing. You can't do it with, like, on your own. It just doesn't work. All right, anyway. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video so far, don't forget to leave a rating on the video. I definitely appreciate that. Go watch The Dragon Friends. Fuck, love Devon Robots. I mean, love Devon Robots is great, but really, you should watch The Dragon Friends. Oh, crap. What are you doing? Oh, it goes through BKB! I don't like it. It's like two Venus coming out of nowhere. I really don't know what to buy. I kind of want to just get Lincolns. It's very defensive still, though. Hey, Sauce, fruity free. Thanks for the 16 months. Like, I just honestly don't think Phantom Assassin is very good in this mode. I think I just made a mistake picking her. But we can still try to make this work. <clears throat> Alright. I really should have just... Just walked. Alright, minus six seconds cooldown. This is where things start getting silly. I mean, they they already a little silly, but they all just become even more silly once we get ourselves to the 25 towns and all that shit. Oh my god, guys! I even have a BKB! What the fuck can I do? <laughs> god damn it! <laughs> oh. oh man. I don't like Bane. See, that's why I need my, my Lincoln still. I'm like a Lotus Orb or something. Satanic. Yeah, I guess actually Lotus Orb would be the best if I'm specifically trying to deal with Bane, which is who I'm specifically trying to deal with. But at the same time, a Lincolns would be better against uh, Doom. I think Lincolns is just overall the better choice. Your top Kind of sucks to have to spend that many resources on just defensive items. But I really just don't know what else I can do. Yeah, chill, bitch. God. You'll get your toy. I need to farm. So I think that's what we're gonna do. By the way, do you get revealed if you do this? Turns out, I guess you do. I mean, it is a channel, but you don't get revealed if you attack. I mean, for, I get why from a balance perspective. It seems like it's a little rule inconsistent, but it's actually an inconsistency I'm fine with. Yeah. Right, my team is getting slaughtered. It's not great. All of these creeps are dead. I do have the advantage of just not appearing on the map. Ever. So. You know, no downtime on my invisibility. 
does definitely help. It's also great because it functions as a tool to like know when I'm getting too close to somebody. You know, when I need to worry about getting hit. That kind of stuff. I'll post give true sight. Yeah, but uh, true sight doesn't reveal blur. Blur is not invisibility. Blur is like a different state. You can dust me a million times that will not reveal me. Man, it's crazy how close they can get, and they still don't see me. Warp of Destruction. You know what, that actually seems kind of good. That will help with damage output. Oh, crap. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That was a little scary, but we're good. Alright, there's a situation. I'm coming. I'm trying to be as fast as I can be. Alright, that guy's dead. That guy's dead. I mean, that's all around a big win, I think. I shouldn't have attacked. Wait, you, you got Agnum still? Oh yeah, everybody got Agnums. Duh. I shouldn't have gone for that, and that's okay. How do you like my Lotus? Lotus is, Lotus is good here. Like, I, I fully agree that Lotus is strong. I just don't really think it's for me, you know? I just don't see it being the right item for a Phantom Assassin. Talking about the right item, seems like Lifesteal might be a good way to go. Maybe Abyssal Blade. Like, continues to be kind of defensive, but... I think kind of defensive is just the lifestyle. Ooh, that gyro is scary though. Yeah, you guys be careful, man. Talking about being careful, I don't really want to get caught by that bane. That would not be ideal. Oh, did the gyro win? Bane is here too. Shit. Alright, kind of panic BKB a little bit. <laughs> but, frankly speaking, I'm a little panicked. <laughs> so, I think Satanic seems best. It's like a lot of additional stats. Status resistance in this game mode. Uh, it's actually... I'm not sure. Right? Like, there's a lot of stuns. A lot of long stuns as well. And you might think that's a reason why status resistance is good. But that could also be a reason why status resistance isn't good. Right? Because the stuns are so long... That even with status resistance... They can still chain stun anyway... But I'm not sure. I think overall Satanic just seems like a safe choice. And then we can think about our last item. Honestly, Abyssal Blade doesn't seem that necessary or useful. Oh, great, Doom. Well, I'm dead. Ugh, that's nasty. That is nasty. It's just got us right there. I think we gotta buy back. Right, gotta be ready for this. Cool. So that seems worth it. Gas is a betty, I think. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I like heroes like Ogre Magi and Dragonite. I think they actually make a lot of sense because you can like come in with a stun and then just kind of like chain another stun. I kind of create a 
Yeah, I kind of a stun lock. But I'm not sure that's necessarily the strongest thing you can do or what not. It's, this is kind of a weird mode. <laughs> this is just kind of like an odd little one right here. You know, I feel a lot better today. If I compare today to how I felt last week on Saturday. You know, because last week I streamed the whole, whole week without really a break at all. And yeah, it's gonna hit. And this week I took, you know, I, I started didn't stream on Thursday, and uh, I just feel a lot better, you know. Last week, last Saturday, I felt really exhausted. That's kind of what I remember. That's why, you know, I've decided to do something about that. I went to the gym today, and on Thursday, and on Tuesday. Damn. Going back to, like, a proper schedule right there. <laughs> oh, that horn. Oh, I'll take it. Double magic immunity. Will you look at that? placebo effect. I don't know why people always do that. Like, it's it seems like this is just, like, the new hot thing. People, like, call everything fucking placebo. Really? You think me having a little bit more time to rest is a placebo or what? I mean, you can't just shut the fuck up, man. Like, I don't get it. It's so the last time, too, where I'm like, hey, I've been eating healthier. Now I feel healthier. Right? I just feel a little better. And I'm like, placebo, placebo. It's like, no. No, why? Why? <laughs> Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't really get it. That need to discredit things. You know, I don't really understand that. I think they got us. Yeah. Turns out having uh, uh, stuns can end the game pretty damn quickly. Yeah, I already used my buyback. Oh man, this right here is exactly it. You know, you just get you just get stunned and into more stuns, into more stuns. All right, if you aren't protected for one second, you're just dead. You know what's kind of funny? I actually had the lowest deaths on my team, which I really didn't expect. But yeah, it, it was kind of a kill-heavy game. Okay, well. We lost. We weren't that successful. I still had some fun. I hope you guys also had some fun. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating on the video. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.